Hulk.
Look at that. All right, this is another one of those moments where, um, I don't know if I can get this to pan back far enough and look up. It's kind of a weird shot, but I'm crowding the inner limit of uh, the trolley travel because um, it's close to the machine. So what I'm gonna do is I can kind of put it where I need it and then just sort of swing it into position um, it's not a very heavy beam, but I can get this, this end in and that should pull that end tight so I can work on it.
Okay, that was the first beam with the new hooks. I like them. here let's just hang this one. all right a little explanation on this on why I'm using the crane um, the upper ones up here you can lift up and use gravity but these ones it's really hard to pull them up uh, to where they need to be because I'm hooking up under the floor the the, the stairs don't terminate at the edge of the floor. They actually run down into the bottom of that 16 inch rim joist down there um, to get this first step out and away. Um, it's just how they were laid out because it's an unequal number of stairs. Um, and I'm just making it look like the picture. Moving on. measure travel check
Okay, those have temporary treads on them now. And temporary guardrail. Um, running up the stairs. Uh, time to start putting material up top um, with the crane while I got it set up. And now I got good access instead of jumping up and down the ladder. As long as I'm close to that, it'll come in handy. I do not have a permanent deck on it because I don't have the material here, but I just threw a partial sheet of inch and an eighth on there for now. Okay, coffee time. Can see that. And then we will uh, slew to the right a little bit. And then we'll swing back around. Come on. There we go. get over it. I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom in. I got those I got those hold down bolts there. Alright, I don't know if this will make it in the video, but I want to point out, it's little moments like what I just did there, which is, I went up the ladder, I positioned it, and I unhooked one end. And then what I did next was I shut the remote off so that I could freely move the ladder to the other position and go up and unhook it. Because what happens is, is with the remote around your neck, the chances of bumping it or slipping or wrapping yourself up somehow that you trip one function or another uh, on the joysticks while the load is above you it's safe but if you move it with the crane there's only one hand hooked up and who knows what it'll do so it's just simple enough to shut the whole thing off lock it out and then go make your you know unhook it and then turn everything back on once you're once you're good and then watch your hooks until you get them clear of everything so anyway, we're gonna keep setting material. Oh man, I forgot to turn it on. All right, we're still waiting on the skewed hangers for all the angled beams. Um, they're set for delivery. I'm not sure when they're gonna be here, but I think what I'm gonna do is I can hand set these few joists here. They're not very big. Um, I have a few hangers to put on, but then I can set those and we'll have somewhere to throw a sheet or two of plywood down to have a beach head at the top of the stairs there.
position. Thank you. down and hit that, it's coming right up into me. So I'm going to stay way back on it because it kicked it away. Crisis averted.
Sorry, real quick. a tiny bit smaller it's a little bit shorter I don't think I can get them smaller uh, the gunnabo ones these are yoke um, I think it's an import but the gunnabo ones are an import for, from a different country uh, they're shorter they've got a web spot but they're so much freaking money I just can't justify almost uh, be a hundred and you know, hundred and thirty dollars a piece by the time you bought the hook comes with the gate but the connector and the pin kit all separate um, times two for everything so this this is great I'm happy with these <laughs>
I'm gonna skid these out of there a little bit. All right, the hangers showed up. You saw me put them on the floor a minute ago. Um, I'm gonna keep setting beams and clearing the floor, getting all these piles out of the way to make a little more room. And then I can, I don't wanna put too many in the way of where my hangers go, but we'll start on that next. That one there. Slick. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe it doesn't matter. This I did yesterday went on a little narrow. I just cut them a little bit.
Okay, uh, I've got the last couple of big bundles of joists up top now. I have four LVLs over there. I have to notch those for the shower area, uh, but we'll get a, that measurement in a minute. Um, I took the, the bridle off of the block because I have a cold shoe right there and I want to put the camera on it to catch a few shots. I can kind of use the thing as a giant tripod while it's up, so that's what I'm going to do.
Right, I gotta cut down two inches in this area. The sun is right in my face. There's no way I can see a line or hold a hold the saw straight on it, even if I could see it on the side here. So I'm gonna start two nails. This piece is just a spacer. Seems like a lot of work, but take should take absolutely all the thinking out of it. We go up, up to that. Okay. And then we just tacked on the spacer. Oh, Galvies and PSL. Make sure that we don't cut past that by about there, just in case there. pretty but part of the stipulation of being able to notch that beam uh, to drop the shower for a well I'm not gonna say it's a rolling shower because it's on the second floor but it would be a basically a you know a ramp in shower no no curb curbless shower let's call it um, was I needed a, a two by one slope on these uh, these entries into the notch uh, so there's no hard shoulders or corners um, so those are cut in uh, after lunch I will will set these uh, one by one with the crane just because they're heavy um, and I don't feel like dropping one on my office down here
All right, this thing called for strapping top and bottom. So I'm gonna make it one piece. Uh, see this here. I want this to go to the outside. Now this stands up like this, and we'll just make sure we uh, slot the decking, stick it through there. So there's those hold downs. And we'll take this right across the bottom over to there and nail it up. I wouldn't normally uh, straighten something like this, but with all the big windows, it is kind of unsupported, not typical how it would sit on a wall normally. So um, I'm probably gonna put that first end uh, down there, looks good. Um, this has a little bit of bow in it, so I'm gonna straighten that up high, as high under that rim as I can. I think it still gets blocked, and then I'll for sure block the sheeting. Um, but I'm going to straighten that before we put the roof sheeting on that out there. Okay, that rim over there is now straightened. You can see one brace there. I went ahead and backed out that wall along there, which helped stiffen it up. Um, so that's good. Uh, we're just going to put you on time lapse and deck, or uh, excuse me, put, put our sheetrock backing in uh, and then go pour concrete. It's a little time lapse here. Okay, um, concrete pour went good yesterday. I'm gonna set up this other scaffold set over here so I can plank across this for layout and hangers. Uh, plumber dropped off some pipe this morning, um, so I'll have that to stick in there. I think the trusses are, floor trusses are showing up around noon. Um, so we'll see how that works. Uh, I'll just set this up and get a plank across it. And then the other side, um, I'm probably gonna do a little differently because I have a little less room over there.
Curb your wheels. Get another leg into that.
right, let me go check orientation on those. All right, we got this window and these trusses for the rain drains and the overflow. Uh, this beam's in the way, so what I did is I rigged it, lifted it up out of the way. I got to slip a rat run in there, and then I'm gonna go cut a piece or two of pipe and stick it in there. Um, not optimal, I could have left it out, but I wanted it out of the way more than uh, I worried about messing with it now. All right.